them to how to use you. Let's go right. So in this video, I'm going to talk about your know, links and singles. This is going to be a general summary of all the videos that you can watch in the export rank playlist. So first of all, let me talk about synchros. So in YouTube, there are four types of synchros. We have plain synchro, double tuning, your hand synchro, brain synchro, actually we've got five. And then we have the extra deck synchro. So let's go, let's first start explaining plain synchro. So to induce your super element, you need a tune-up and a non-tune monster. So you have a tune-up which is level 4 and a non-tune monster which is level 4. Or plus 4 equal to That is what is known as the principle. Using a tune-up and a non-tune monster to perform a single time. Next we have double tuning. Double tuning, as the name suggests, means using two tunings in order to single time. So let's say we have a level 10 single monster that says it means two tuners is equal to a monster like this is a tyrant red dragon option. So tyrant red dragon option is a single monster that means two tuners is equal to a single monster. we need a level 8 monster and then we need two level 1 tuners on the side of the single monster. This monster. The next type of single monster we have is hand synchro. And this means using synchro something from the hand to have a tune up on your hand and the materials between your hand. So generally the effect of the tune up would be an effect aligned to synchro something using the materials in your hand in the monster. Again it would be conducted in the synchro something, a plain synchro something, a synchro something into your desired synchro monster. The next type of single something we have is known as gray synchro. Now with gray single something, this can involve using monster a uh, monster effect in the gray. The only monster I know that has the effect of single something is black wing, you know the black wing tune I call it by emblem of And uh, the only spell I also know that can have a single something is uh, it's a spell called Necrozombie. But these are the only two cards in the game currently at present that cannot be secret from your brain. With the effect of uh, black wing binding on the one. You could only use uh, black wing monsters in your graveyard and materials and then you can use the super form that people something which can be formed into something. That will be the, the effect of that synchro is indeed this that you see with that. It also applies to the spell card that allows you to edit the synchro And finally, we have the new type of synchro summary that just uh, was released in the Destruction Deck for Dane, Dane standing for Dark New Soul, uh, Miko, or by its TTT name. You know, in the world challenge, just TCR. What a for. Anyways, um, uh, Abe's effect is that it can be single summoned from the extra by treating a world challenge noble monster as a tuner. It's a single part. So, you, so with, using, with the effect of uh, Abe, you do not even need a tuner to single summon this monster. So, bear in mind, extra deck single summon. You do not need a tuner when you need an extra deck synchro monster's effect. However, you can still synchro the monster as normal with the way you synchro And now, let me talk about uh, links. So, the link monsters, as you are relatively new in the game, coming around 2017. And around 2019, so it should be around 2020 or 2021. Where we see the end of the uh, you know, the, the series, the, the great series, and to the next uh, special summon mechanic that we will get during that kind of mission to mark. It follows the general timeline of the you know, transfer mechanic and the followers. Anyways, links are extra monsters that are color coded blue. 
they have link markers. These link markers are the arrows that you see on a uh, link monitor. They have they have no defense point, and they also have you no know, level. They have numbers. The numbers is what you can see. And then the defense point is not usually on the link monitor. Then the core. Now I'll talk about the various summoning methods for link monsters. So we have you play link sum, you have link up, you have link down, and you have link And we have another form of link coming which I think get to make, which is the hand link color. The reason why I failed to mention the hand link color is because currently in the PCG we do not have these colors have not been released yet. So you know you legally can't do it. But anyways, for the purposes of explaining all types of link coming, I'm not going to keep it. So we have your plain link coming. You're going to link coming. So to plain link coming, you need, for example, to link coming, you will need one monster. You will need a monster on your health. Link coming into your link one monster. So plain link coming requires you to understand that every monster on your other field is classed as having one link marker. So link one monster is made by having one link marker. Two monsters is made by using two link markers. Two monsters. Link three is made by having three link markers. Link four and a four link marker. Get a general idea. Link five, five link markers, five monsters. That's the link marker. Next, we have the link up. The link up, link up. I call it the link up, link up because you use link monsters in order to link up. So let's say you want to make a key code prover, which is a link. You will uh, make your link to, to using the link plane in common knowledge of the monsters. Then you will make a link one using the link in common of the link one. And now you want to make your key code prover. So you can make your key code prover several in, uh, in two ways. One, using the link, the plane in common method by three monsters in order to make it. You know, using three monsters, each monster plus in one marker or the link method, using, using two existing link monsters, which is two plus one, which is a link two monster and one monster, two plus one equals three. And there you have it, you have performed a plain link, you have performed a link up sum, sorry, of equal to. Remember that a link up sum is using link monsters and adding those values together in order to get a link monster you could link up. So to pick a link 4 monster, you can use 2 link 2 monsters. Or you can use 1 link 1 monster and 1 link 3 monster. You get the difference. You use 2 pre existing link monsters to have on top in order to make that link monster. The next uh, form of link summon we have is link down. So your link down, a uh, link summon, is using a uh, link monster and uh, the non link monster, the monster is a link monster, in allowing you to link up. So let's say you want to make that decode broker one to ten. You have your link two monster, and you have this any old monster on the other thing. Remember, as I said before, each monster class itself has been having being one link monster. So you have a link two monster and a non link monster, playing monster on the other field. That's a link one monster. Two plus one again equals three. Then go, you will perform a link down link sum. So remember, in performing a link down link sum, you need a link monster and a non link monster. And those values adding up to the link monster will go to the link side. And the next method of uh, link sum we have is the, the new period of arch, which is the hand link sum. Link hand link sum. Now, hand link sum is very is what it can do. But this is again using a, a specific monster's effect that has an effect allowing you to link something from your hand. So for example we have a monster that you put a link with in a DDG called an origin where you can up called microcoder. The so microcoder is a service monster with the following effect. It allows you to link something from your hand. To, uh, from your hand to make a uh, code poker link monster, a code poker link monster. So you can link someone, uh, link monster, a uh, code poker link 
by putting materials in your hand. How about these materials help to grow up to make a good book uh, ink monster? And when you successfully summon a big summon a good book ink monster, the pet state that you have allowed to summon at and any sign that spell or trap from the deck to your hand. Here is an example of a hand of hand link summon. Usually hand link summons, and we'll take this a little bit more forward, is that they have the ability to link summon from your hand. However, it will, have, it will be a monster that has this specific effect allowing you to lick someone from your hand. So if the effect will be specific and you will have to lick someone, uh, the link monster as stated in its effect. And that's generally it for, you know, the, the main methods of a lick summon. Um, you know, we're still, we're still waiting for the shooting for the structure deck that will introduce us into officially into the to hand link summon. The way to go from the book. Anyways, so now we'll talk uh, a bit more about the links. We have the mutual link and we have the code. So first of all, let's talk about the code. Now, what is code linking? Now, code link video is having two pre-existing link monsters, link markers, or rather those arrows that you see on a link monster pointing towards each other. That is known as a code. So whenever you see two monsters and these arrows are pointing towards each other, that is known as a code. The next method, the, the next thing I'm saying about link monsters is the neutral link. Now neutral link is when just a link monster is pointing to a monster. That's it. Yeah. The arrow could be pointed, for example, you can have a link monster pointing to an XOZ monster. That is what will be known as a neutral. These cards are mutually linked. It's a completely different. Yeah. Mutual link, remember, is when a link monster just points to a monster. It could even point to a link monster. However, if if, if the link monster is pointing to another link monster and their arrows are pointing towards each other, that is known as a code link. So remember, the difference between a neutral link and a code link is that with a code link, you have to have both link markers pointing to each other's arrows, you know, link markers, as, a, as it's you know, officially called. Yeah, with the neutral link, there's a link monster pointing to, you know, any monster on the field without the sharing of link markers. Link arrows pointing each other, and you know the what other thing is there? No, I think I believe I believe I believe that's it. I think we've covered everything that you know we have on the camera to you know to deal with how to use your things with right. So all I can say is that. You are one step closer to becoming a new marker. My fate is in your hands. The lucky looks like, hit the looks like. You could decide, do not subscribe at all. The fate is yours. Goodbye.